Today we're wrapping the blueberry. The blueberry. We covered my girl in the hood. We did not record it because we wanted to get the hang of this final before we recorded and stuff. Just it is the Vivid brand, and this time we bought it from the actual Vivid website and not Amazon because the roof looks pretty bad. The roof was Amazon Vivid, which I'm not sure if it's a actually Vivid or some kind of or if it's some kind of knockoff. There you go. But it left glue everywhere. And it came out in little chunks. It was terrible to take off. It, it was also terrible to put on compared to the, the actual vivid from the website. Yeah. We did carbon fiber on the hood. And I think that's the only carbon fiber we're gonna do yeah, on this car, maybe. Gloss black vinyl. So that's where we're gonna do the rest of the car. And I think carbon fiber and black just go together. Hamburgers and rice. Ketchup. Mac and cheese. Rough cut, I guess. We, Danielle printed out something nice, uh, something good that we should have done that we didn't do. So when we got a piece, like a giant square, we should have mirrored, because we could have saved a whole bunch of vinyl that way. Like, you know what I mean? Get a square, then mirror both for both fenders, but... Next time. Next time, next, next car. So we're gonna get started, and I don't know, I guess we start at a corner and... So we're trying to do this, I guess this is where the headlight goes, and it's really, <laughs> really sharp of a angle here. So what we're trying to do is heat it up so much where you can actually just pull and tuck it, but this material is really forgiving, so when you heat it up, it just kind of erases itself, or... Erases all the damage. Erases all the damage. It just starts lifting, and see like right there. So it's, I think that's a good thing. It's just so forgiving and if you mess if you mess up you can heat it up and just retry. What did you say? Uh I like French fries. And jalapeno peppers. We're gonna have them for dinner. Yes. <laughs> I think I need scissors, I can't reach that. Let me tell you how much work wrapping a car is. I didn't realize how tedious it is, especially for me who's, who's really, really slow and slow. So it, it took me way, way, way too long to get this done. If you've been following the channel, you know I tried spray painting it and that didn't work and then uh, I went to vinyl. I tried to spray paint it and it didn't work and you can see the driveway, it's all black and under pressure, wash it. Let's see where my keys are. It's all done, all back together. Uh, don't look at the corners, all, all the edges. Let's just don't even look at those and it'll be fine. I actually did run out of vinyl for the front and rear bumper, so it's like a million pieces, but if you uh, don't look at it, you can't really notice it. I was gonna go and show you every single flaw with the wrap, but you know what, it just, it looks okay. Just, it looks okay from far and that's all you need. And yes, the door jams are black, although they're not perfect, and I'm not really gonna show you, but yes. I need to trim a lot of the edges, but that, that's something I can do, you know, be done on my own time. The, the main part is that I wanted to drive it because it's been since Halloween. Today is February 1st, I think. Yeah, it's the first today, so it's been a month since I drove it. I'm just happy I get to drive the car, fun stuff, but today, I was gonna install a part on Blackberry and a part on the FRS, which is on the side over here. Yeah, there it is. So I got a, what they call a drift button or a, a handbrake button. I, this one is for the FRS and I had a Neochrome one somewhere from like 
years, years, years ago, and I can't find it. I had it the other day, and uh, I told myself, cool, I'm gonna put this on. I, I just don't know where I left it. It's, it's, I mean, realistically, these aren't that expensive. They're, you can find them for, you know, less than 10 bucks. But, but still, that, that means I have to buy another one, and I'm being super cheap, especially since I had one. <sighs> So yeah, it's the other one's a Neochrome I got for uh, my S14 years, years, years ago. And I ended up selling the car without putting it on. So before, I, I wanted every single color imaginable. I wanted a Neochrome button and a you know bright red shift knob and a yellow steering wheel. I wanted the brightest colors um, I could pretty much get into a car. Like even just a crazy valve cover. Valve cover color. I can't speak today. So. And now that I'm getting older, I want everything, you know, black, white, or gray pretty much. So it's kind of weird how, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just becoming more boring. So uh, I am going to install a drift button for the FRS. And because you watched uh, all my videos, you noticed that I went to Orlando Speed World for my first drift event. And I was struggling with a handbrake for, so for whatever reason, I can't, uh, release the handbrake and get on power. It's just something in my head. So maybe the drift button's gonna help me. Let me get the keys and we'll go put it on the FRS real quick. Okay, try not to hit the house. Oh my gosh, oh, this car is a lot lower than Blueberry. Okay, here we are. It's kind of hard to explain. So handbrake, right? You have to press the button to release it and it does this little locking thing, right? Essentially, what this button's gonna do is gonna get rid of the, the need to press the button, so it's always gonna be uh, able to lift it up without having the need of holding the button. So what we're gonna do is remove this button and put this guy on it, and it should be that easy. Unfortunately, taking this off is gonna destroy it because it's, uh, it's that fake chrome plastic thing, so it's probably gonna destroy it, and I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna try not to by putting a rag over it. Doubt it's gonna salvage it, but you know, you know how it goes. Almost there. Take the button off, and this is where I messed up. And me trying to salvage this button I'm never gonna use again. I, <laughs> you saw me put the, the rag on top of it and try to, you know, save it. I actually chewed off my <laughs> uh, boot cover. I, I, I'm pretty bummed out about it because that's a good little snag. I, I was just going to town and anyway, pretty bummed out about that. But, uh, yeah, well, there's a spring in here. And we just take off the spring. You get your button and you pretty much just thread it on there. And then press the button. So there we go. If you wanna have your handbrake hold, you just pull the button and it holds. So, yay, and there we go. That's super, super easy. So when you're drifting, you don't have to worry about pressing the button. That's one last thing to worry about. You just kinda you know, pull it without worrying about it. Again, the only tools you need is a vice grip unless you got some manly, manly fingers and you can take that off. Oh yeah, that's, I'm pretty upset about that. Uh, either way, we are out of time for today's video and just wanted to show off Blueberry or Blackberry, whatever you want to call him. Uh, rap is done. So uh, he's, I just drove him to work and he's doing great and everything's awesome there. There's still a lot of things that I need to do, fix up a lot of the edges, a lot of the stuff that you tuck around the corner. At least I can drive the car without feeling super embarrassed about it. Like I said, there is a drift event this weekend and it's actually a learner's day. And I'm decided on going on, on OSW because it's, again, for, for me, it's a four hour drive and then on a four hour back. And uh, this time we would be driving the car there. And uh, I don't know, main concern is that I might be uh, super busy on the weekend. But either way, I need to make up my mind now because uh, I got some spare uh, wheels that I put some tires on so they can be my burners or these ones burn us. <laughs> this car doesn't burn anything. <laughs> like it does no smoke and no noise, nothing. Now that we got Blueberry back in, in action, we, we need, I'm, I'm just enjoying driving the car for once. I hate when a car sits and you just kind of don't do anything about it. But yeah, see you on the next video. Bye.